Adrian, if you could have picked one game to be your first as, as head coach, would it have been this one? I reckon. I think so. Uh, look, you know, we've got a pretty tough month of rugby coming up with uh, St Helens away in round one, Leeds at home round two, then the World Club Challenge, so and then and then we, and then uh, Hull. So, you know, I guess where do you, who do you focus on in, in that month? And all we can do is focus on ourselves. And and now, with the week approaching, that we've got St Helens away, the local derby. There's no bigger game in, in Super League. You know a fair bit about this derby, of course. What are your memories of playing in it? My memories are, are pretty good, actually, as a player. I've, I've you know. The, the, the Good Friday was always a massive challenge for us and, and we had some really great wins through that period, you know, playing under strength at times with some young players and just playing that Wigan style and Wigan way got us through the game and hopefully on Thursday night the boys can produce some of that. Does, is anything different in Derby Week? Do you do anything different to keep players' feet on the ground or to try and settle nerves a bit or is it, is it as you were? No, I think they find a, a, gear, a, a gear up themselves, you know. They, they understand the importance of this game. I know the crowd and the supporters driving from behind because this is the week that they want to win if any so they can brag how bragging rates through the, through the local derby and the local people so um, the players I can see already this week have stepped up in the intensity and training and that's a great sign. Obviously you took over a team that were champions from last season just how quickly were you able to hit the ground running? Yeah look it's always hard to take over a team that's just won um, the Super League grand final but you know, the great thing about this team and this club is is you know we've got some great leaders here and you know been really happy and impressed with the way that we've trained and again probably our, our uh, elderly or well, older players and, and our leaders are, are leading the way which is a great sign for the club moving forward in the future with those young ones coming through and those senior ones uh, leading the way so we can only get better. And grand final champions against the league leader shield it's set up to be a pretty good game of foot isn't it? Yeah well like I said I hope the weather I think they're predicting a little bit of snow at the moment so that'll be all right as well because we've trained in it for a couple of weeks so Look, if it's dry, we hope to see some, some great rugby play down there. Hopefully the, the stadium's capacity and, and what a way to launch and kick off 2009 in Super League. And where do you see the threat in the St Helens side? Look, I think they're pretty well balanced across the field. Um, you know, no Ben Barber this year, but, but Lachlan Coote certainly brings a completely different um, variety and, and variation to their, to their play. Left foot kicker, so he'll give them some options down that short side and um, he'll, get, he'll steady the boat uh, with their structure too. So. Uh, also, Warms are coming back. I think in the middle there, it'll, it'll give them some a little bit more go forward, so they'll be they'll be strong across the board. I mean, both teams have had quite big changes in in the kind of spine positions in the off season. As a coach, how much does that make the opposition a little bit of an unknown entity? Well, they can you know obviously they're the, probably the most important part of the team. So both both teams have had slight changes, but um, you know I, I guess being game one, it, it it'll be clunky at times the way that we play or St Helens play, but I guess it's the team that can certainly get control of how, how they want to play early, will we'll certainly dominate. And does a game like this, I mean, one would have been game one anyway, but a derby game against a team that are right up there, how much will this set the tone for what happens in the next six weeks, two months? Yeah, look, I think personally for us, you know, whether we win or lose, it's not going to define our season or our, or our month of footy. Um, we're, we're focused on being a consistent team, a more consistent team. Uh, I think Wigan, we feel, you know, probably weren't the best in the first half of last season. They would come home strong, so it's something we want to improve on. And uh, I think the performance of both sides, will you'll see these two teams uh, at, the, at the right end of the ladder uh, come September, October. So, you know, we've got a fair bit of work to do, but we're excited about it.